Hello YouTube and welcome to my OLC Season 1. Let's get into it. So what is our OLC? OLC is a league that was started with a group of friends I think in around 2017, 2018 of just people who like playing FIFA and they just create a league and start playing against each other. Throughout the years it started growing, growing, growing and now we have a currently I think like 35 participants in it and it's just been growing. Many people have dropped out, many new people have joined in and it's been lots of fun. So how the format works is that there's a league of a certain amount of players. Every week it can be assigned like six games that you have to like talk to your opponent through WhatsApp or communicate with them and find a time to play the game, record the game and play the game. We're going to submit their scores into a website and through there the league table will form. At the end of the season there's going to be playoffs and through those playoffs you fight, fight, fight and try to get number one and try to get the first prize which is maybe like $200. I, I've played with uh, this league before, but this season I wanted to do something different and show my progression on YouTube. All right, so here I have their website, the Online League Champs website, and I'm gonna be showing you guys what this season is gonna be looking like. So I've played in this division this season many times before, and I've been able to go up to the first division. Currently there's only two divisions, but yeah, even getting to first division is tough. So the first division is currently made up of 19 players. I think there were 20, but one person left us. And yeah, currently nobody has any games played because I think we should be starting the season this week or next week. And yeah, it's 19 players. I'll be playing everybody twice. And at the end, whoever makes playoffs, which is top eight or top 12, depending, can face each other on playoffs to, to get the final prize. Uh, this season there are two divisions. This is the first division. This is the second division. Second division I think is currently adding more people and it's 14 players and yeah, it's very very tough. There's a lot of these players that have won many of these tournaments, many of these leagues and it's a very tough. I, I'll tell you guys the truth, I usually finish like mid-table and I've actually been relegated one time from the first division I had to go down, back down to second and fight my way back up because it's tough sometimes you get so many good players and there's just some key games that can be seen throughout the season that like really determines if like I do well or I go crash and every season is different especially this can be the first time playing these people in FIFA 21 so many, maybe there's some, been some times that like people adapt to the game better and play much better than they used to and there's some people that just drop, they just can't, uh, don't know the new mechanics and stuff like that. But overall it's lots of fun, there's very high level, like I've seen the results of some people in Ultimate Team, they finish like 28, uh, like the weekend league with like 29, 27, 26, like they're, they're very good, the Ultimate Team and usually that carries on to this. So they know the mechanics and they're very good. I, I just play more for fun. I can't see myself winning, especially in my current level. My plan is to make it to a playoffs this season and hopefully give some good players a fight. So at the beginning of each season, we have to give two teams. Before it used to be like one team and you play throughout the whole entire season, but there was a lot of conflict because especially in the older FIFA's Barcelona and Messi was really broken and many people decided to choose Barcelona or choose like one team to play with and everybody was playing against each other with the same team and that wasn't so much fun. So what it's, what's done to fix that was that everybody picks two teams and whoever's home gets to pick the team they want to play with and then the other person, if they have the same team as their home team, they have to pick their second team to play them. This way, you will never be facing the same team that you're playing with. And I like the system because it's also like good because um, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using live teams. So if they're doing bad during the season, like you pick like let's say Real Madrid and they start losing, losing, losing in real life. That really affects their in stats games. Um, the second team can be used like maybe it's a Man City. If they've been winning all their games, then you can use an informed team rather than always depending on one team's form. I had to pick two teams and I always feel like this is a very, very um, important decision. There was the one season that I went from first division to second division is because uh, it was during Man U's season when they got the new managers, Solskjaer, and they started winning, 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 winning. And in game, they were broken. Rashford was really fast. Pogba was controlling the midfield. Their defense was good. Everything was sick. And I decided to pick them that game that they lost, the game they started losing right before that, I picked them 
And I'm like, okay, because right then they were like super flying. They can compete against any team in the game. After that, they started losing, and the inform, um, the form team, just just got destroyed. Back then, we only had one club to pick with, and I, I couldn't keep up with all the big clubs, and I ended up getting relegated that season. So choosing your clubs are very very important. So I was looking to the clubs, and uh, it, it's tough. Um, I've played with many of these players individually through Ultimate Team, so I kind of have an understanding of how they feel like. So we're looking at 5-star teams, right? Atletico de Madrid, I feel like they're very slow. And when I'm playing this game, I am also thinking about the meta. What's good for this game, rather than thinking, oh, because I'm a huge fan of Barcelona. So if I was like, oh, I want to just play with like my team, I, I would play with them, but I don't believe they fit the meta properly and my game style properly. So I'm not going to be picking them either. The big teams that I was actually thinking about was Liverpool, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Man City, Barcelona, Juventus, and Paris Saint-Germain. Literally the top seven teams that are there because they're the best teams in the game. Liverpool, I think it's a must. I think Liverpool is very broken in this game. With Wijnaldum in the middle, Fabinho's a good CDM, even though he's not the fastest, he really stops everything. You have the best defense in the whole game with Van Dijk and Gomez, and Alisson right behind. Alexander, Arnold, and Robertson, they raised their speed this season, this uh, game, so they're faster and you can keep up with the faster players. And the attack is crazy, right? You have Salah and Mane, you have Jota if he keeps doing well, you have Shakiri to control the middle, you have Firmino, you have so many options, so many different gameplay that you can be changing throughout the game that like Liverpool is a must. I, I, I picked Liverpool as my number one team because you have to, like they're just very very broken. Now the second team, I feel like many of the other teams are not fully complete as Liverpool is in this game. I was looking at Real Madrid. And Real Madrid, I feel, has the second best defense in the game, in the meta. Because they have a really good goalkeeper, they have Mendy left back, Carvajal is probably the weakest point, but Sergio Ramos is not that fast, but like, he's really good. And he's not that slow either, right? He's not like 50 or 60 pace, he's like 70, late 60s. And Militao, Varane, like, you can, you have really good center backs right there. Varane, I think, is like one of the best defenders in that game, right? The reason why I didn't pick Real Madrid was because I felt they were lacking attack. Hazard is good. Benzema's just not quick enough, right? He, he's a good shooter, but for this game, I feel like you need to be a little bit quicker. Rodrigo and Benicio's shooting are good, but they just don't feel that complete, right? They're not that broken. And in this, like, in this league, you need that brokenness. And they're missing, like, they can't shoot properly. I'm not much of like a dribbler, so I just didn't like the attack that much. The midfield was good, but I just didn't like the attack that much to be like, okay, I'll pick this team. Man City, the defense is way too slow. Laporte, like I was thinking put a walker in the middle, but then you need another right back. Um, and Ruiz Diaz is very slow as well. So in this league, I can't have a slow defense. I just can't. So I decided because of that. I also think that Aguero is not that broken. Like I like the fast, like Liverpool's, if you put Mane and Salah on top, oh, like, they just broken. You just go and run and score. Like, it's, they're too good. Barcelona, Messi was brought down quite a bit in this game. His pace was brought down. His dribbling, everything else is amazing. His pace is brought down. And I, I was thinking of Dembele. I can see myself using Barcelona in the future because they have good center backs. They're okay. I, I, I felt like Messi being, not being as broken kind of weakens the teams. Again, Barcelona, I decided not to use him this season, but I can see myself see in the future. Juventus, the defense is too slow. So my second team I decided to go with was Paris Saint-Germain. I think Neymar and Mbappe on top are just so broken in this game. You go run, speed, you go through the lines, go go and score. It's just very, very broken. Uh, the defense was good. I wasn't like super like loving defense. Like Kimpembe was fast enough. Marquinhos a little bit slow. Left back right are okay, but they have a really good goal. And I think they're good for this game. The midfield, I liked. I also like that there's De Maria. I like that there's Straxler. I like, I just like the different options that are, are in the team. 
my idea for this season is more attack. Focus on what's on the meta and just attack more. And that's why I'm gonna be trying to using Salah and Mane the same way I'm gonna be using Mbappe and Neymar. Just try to like be able to dribble, just use the quick and just go go behind the lines. So I, I like I feel like these tunes were kinda similar in that way, that they had two really good strikers, two really good forwards. And I decided to pick these two teams for this season. So this is a photo of all the teams that everybody picked. So you kinda you guys will see have an idea of what kind of teams you're gonna be seeing this season. Um, there are a couple new players that I've never faced before. As you can see here, there's a lot of Liverpool and PSG. I guess many people had similar ideas that I did, that these two teams are just the most broken. I like changing my teams to the next season because I, I believe like playing with the same teams always is kind of boring. And again, I played this to have more fun. So I'm definitely going to be trying Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Juventus, um, Med City maybe in the future. So you can see that out. So yeah, this season, these are the teams that you're going to be looking at. Once a week, I'm going to be trying to post the OLC matches and show you guys the highlights, show you guys how I did with my opponents and show you the updated tables at the end of the week. And you're going to see my progression throughout the entire season and let's see how we do this season. I'm going to be trying my best. I'm going to be trying the new skills and everything that I've been learning and the new mechanics and hopefully I do well this season. We'll, we'll have to see. Again, no, I hope these players are really, really, really good. So I'm more here to have fun, but I'm just going to be showing you guys my progress throughout the season. So yeah, this was just an um, introduction to the league. Uh, next week hopefully will be the first video of me showing you all the highlights for this week, if we start end up starting this week. And yeah, I'm very excited for the season, and I think it's going to be lots of fun. Click the like button if you like the video, subscribe if you're excited to see this new league, and thanks for watching.